hi and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make a frontal wig it's going to be super detailed and i'm going to tell you everything you need to know so your first frontal wig comes out perfect so stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed a lot of people have the tendency to put their frontals on like this like don't put your frontal on like this It won't come out right. You have to line your frontal like this. So not like this, like this. Like straight across. Let me see if I can demonstrate that again because I really want you to see. So you wanna put your frontal like this. So it's like this. If your frontal is on properly, when you pull the lace down, the hairline should start in front of the cap. The entire time that I'm sewing the frontal, I'm sewing through the reinforced edge. I'm not sewing on the actual lace, I'm sewing on that reinforced edge. I'm also not sewing through the band on the dome cap. It might take you a few tries to get it right and that's okay, but I'm using the needle to separate the fabric from the elastic band. In case you're not familiar, this is the reinforced edge I was talking about. So this is what we're looking like. We're all sewn in the beginning of the frontal, like where the hair is on the frontal start because that's the measurement that, that really matters. We don't need to measure the lace. And we're gonna trace it down. This is actually perfect, it's 15 and a half. And that's perfect for my client because she has a lot of room on her forehead and she doesn't want it directly on her hairline. I'm gonna secure the cap just to make sure that I hold on to that 15 and a half measurement and the cap doesn't move. So my first stitch is gonna go as close to the frontal as I can get it. I'm sewing in a total of three bundles from my wavy collection. I'm only doubling half of the very first bundle.
When I'm about two inches away from the edge of the frontal, I split the track into two and I start sewing on the bottom track only. Then I sew that track up and over and then eventually I marry the tracks back together. When you flip the track, be sure to tack it down really well so it's nice and flat. When the tracks are close enough to kiss, that's when we marry them up. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna do it every single time I reach the edge of the frontal. So this is what it looks like. We only have that one bundle sewn in and now I'm gonna sew the other two. I'm only doubling half of the second bundle and I'm just sewing it down left to right. All right, so this is just still the second bundle. So as you can see, we're getting up higher on the, um, on the head. So now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you make a smile and you keep smiling until you get to about right here. So I'm gonna still, you know, do the same flip over method, but I'm just gonna make sure it's a smile instead of going like straight across. It's gonna be like kind of a U. So not straight across, kind of like a U. So we see our U. But now instead of smiling and continuing the U, we're going to start going left and right. So when I get over here, I'm not gonna go up, I'm just gonna start going over. And then I'll do left, right, left, right until I get to the frontal.
So instead of going up, I'm gonna cross over. So when you get to the top, you're not going to sew on the frontal, you're just going to sew very close to it. So sew like here, do not sew on top because you want to make it as flat and seamless as possible. When cutting off the excess fabric underneath the frontal, don't cut too close to your stitches. You don't want them to unravel and you also want to leave a little bit of fabric in case you want to swap out the frontal later down the line. And this is our finished result. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if it was. And please make sure you're subscribed.